Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to calibrate your Airbus TCA Quadrant Throttle by Thrustmaster with the new Hoverwire S20 Neo Mod, the development version. So, let's get into it. Let's go into the cockpit. There you go. So, first things first. From what I found, you want to go to your control settings, find the uh, TCA throttle, go to your sensitivity here, and reset them all. So, you'll see a panel, you can save a profile for this aircraft so it doesn't affect your other ones. But all these um, reset, 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 reset. Mine are already done, they're on zero obviously. Reset, reset, reset. Once they're on zero, like mine, press done, and apply and save. So, once that's done, you're ready to go. Now that's done, simply go to your EFB, which is to your left, and click on it. That was down her arm. Now it's on, go to the setting to the top right, settings, throttle settings, details, calibrate. So, TCA you tick reverse and independent access because it has a reverse function and two, rear, uh, two levers. If you are on a different one, uh, it's sure to adjust these to your needs. If you're using the 3D Extreme Pro or using it on a um, project with no reverser, then obviously remove them both. If you're using the TCA Sidestick though, by the Airbus one, I think you have a reverser because it has a reverser access to. But for the um, TCA Throttle Quadrant, both these need to be checked. So I've got a little throttle cam to help here. There we go. You can see it right now. First things first, start with reverse full. What you want to do is simply pull the levers right back to reverse full. Point that reverse full. You simply press second throttle and second throttle. Now reverse idle. So um Push them a little bit forward, but still in the reverse D10. So, we'll do a little bit forward. I'll be good. Reverse idle and set U. Oh, overlap, so you have to do it further up. So, we put it overlaps. Try now. Good. Make sure that I'm trying to eat with them as much as I can. Good. Then we're going to idle. So put them in idle, level them out, put them in idle, idle, set, set, climb, is going to climb, so I might be able to move it like this, right there. You go to the first white triangle there, climb, the level, climb, set, set, flex, and you, yours will look different because I've done it before. But flex again, you go up to the uh, another line like that. Once that's set, flex, set, set. And toga, you just max out. So max out, set, set. As you um, fly, you can change them a little bit to your liking. So that's the thing, my flex, I want it a little bit more there. There we go. Once that's done, apply, then turn to your throttle and do your test. So, idle. That. Reverse. It's in reverse. Idle that again. It's an idle. Climb on mine, climb on there. Flex is flex on there. See, flex on there. And all the way forward equals toga on here. So that is how you calibrate your TCA throttle with the new version of the mob. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up if you like the type of content, including a lot of live streams. I do streams in x 11 and MSRS very frequently. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my uploads and streams. Also, for any help or just, just if you want to join my community now, fine. We have a great community going. Join my server on Discord, over 100 members. Join in the fun, group flights, 
contests and more. So I'm, I'll show you in that. And with that said, hope you found that helpful and happy flying. Thanks for watching.